on his way to victory. See this huge crowd waiting at 18 and lining the fairway, waiting to welcome the last group in of Bob Murphy, Greg Norman, and Mac O'Grady. But there's still some action farther down this hole as Bob Murphy goes to the tee. Mike Donald at the 18th, third shot. Very nicely played. Yes. Very nicely played. He's four under par, so a birdie there would put him to five. Now, Robert, just one more. Has a few deep breaths and a huff and a puff. Picks his spot. What a great feeling this must be for him, though. Well, it will be in about 15 minutes' time, I'm sure, when it, uh, when he's done it. A good view. We get a good sight of his swing. Back, through, down, and... <laughs> Depending on where he is down there, we'll, he'll have to make a decision whether to go for the green or not. Probably he will not. Just play the neck and then over. I would but think uh, that would yeah. be... Uh, but then even if he did hit the water, it's a one-shotter and uh, a six yeah, could help him out. Yeah, but you know, Sam Sneed only wanted a, a five <laughs> once. Uh, yeah, he true. wanted a seven to win the open ones and took eight. I'll, I'll withdraw that statement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He <laughs> doesn't like it. No, but he just crushed it. No, he doesn't like it. Oh, but no, it's finished between, between them again. Yeah. yeah. One thing about him, he's pretty to watch. He gives you everything, doesn't he? Well, he gives the crowd value for money. Yeah. Uh, Mac O'Grady. smooth swing instead of, he still launches it out there, doesn't he? Yeah, he cut it away too up by uh, Greg Norman's ball. He just, that, that rainstorm hit him and it didn't do him any good at all. He's, um, he, he waited and then dropped those two strokes at the par, three twelfths and more at the thirteenth. Dave Barr, along with Davis Love, and I'll just double check. This is for a birdie or three? This is for double an eagle. Yes. yes. Played a uh, very eagle, good right. iron shot in the middle of the green. So yes. Good cheer to finish with an eagle three. Certainly would. And he's not given it enough. Not quite enough. Davis Love's third shot at the 18th. Awkward little shot, as you can see from the edge of the bunker. Mm, well played, but it went quite a bit past. here. He could go to five under if he can hold this. And could sneak in the second place. scene of the day and uh, well, not surprising a big moment and just misses it a little bit afraid but a good championship for Mike Donald finishes at four under the card that ties him with Andy
Andy Bean. Now you can see those little spike marks there, all those little bitty things there, just where the player's spikes have scuffed up this beautiful putting surface. This is Davis Love, he has this for a birdie four. This to finish at five under. Well, he struck it well, just didn't get the line. So he too finishes, or should do, with a par five. disappointing when you feel you've dropped one on the final hole. And finally it's Dave Barr for a birdie four. There it goes. Had his chances, couldn't quite take them and ends up on the score of 288 level par. move away and now we have the final group. Greg Norman, well that ball looks to be well down in the rough but he's going to have a flog at it I think. He's going to have a go with a five iron. Oh that looked to be a very good contact. into the sand and at the back of the bunker unless that rolls down into the bottom that'll leave him a very awkward bunker shot that was a big hit out of that pretty heavy wet grass some Mac O'Grady and hit it uh, let's see right towards the right of that crane right there yeah. okay the caddy says. Looks a bit daunting though, doesn't it? Coming over the water with the sun sparkling on it to a very narrow green. Is he going to have a go or is he pitching out? Well, I think he just pitched that out at the end. I think he, yes, he played it out. He didn't have a go at it in the end played over into the little neck at the end of the lake. Now Murphy with the shots in hand, he's 200 yards from the flag. Uh, I don't know what he's done, he's just punched it up with some short iron up into the neck. And now he's got another short iron. No heroics there and why, why not? for the tournament and is the veteran Bob Murphy, 43 years of age, comes up to the green at 18. He enjoys a four-stroke lead over four players, Norman, Bean, Donald, and Davis Love the third. Welcome back to the final scenes of this year's Canadian Open Championship. Massed crowds looking down on this 18th, and the winner surely is going to be Bob Murphy, but first, before he holds out triumphantly, here's Mac O'Grady's third shot. A little flip up with a sand wedge to the flag right at the back of this 18th green. And that's a nice Go one. Going so very well, but just had his problems, major problems in the middle of the back nine. Now here's Bob Murphy. 
The last time he won a major event was 1975. So what a moment it must be for him. But now he's got to control uh, just for another few moments. Those nerves to play one nice pitch to this final green. Third shot. Well done. 
absolutely certain that the car is checked, everything is in order, everything is signed, and then that will be that. Bob Murphy. The 1986 Canadian Open champion, Greg Norman with that birdie on 18, moving into sole possession of second place. Lots more to come. Stay with us. We'll be right back after these messages. Welcome back, and there's Bob Murphy, the 1986 Canadian Open champion. Four very good rounds All indeed, right. and a very happy man uh, indeed. Hi, but Gail. Hi, Kim. <laughs> It'll take a little while for it to all sink in. That's the right score. And whilst we look at a very happy Bob Murphy moving away, a chance for Brian Williams to take you through some scores of some uh, famous names who've completed the champions championship, not the winner. Here's the winner walking to the 18th. So, Brian, just a few scores from you. Peter Murphy finishing at minus eight. Defending champion Curtis Strange won over today to finish at minus two along with three-time winner Bob Quay. And Crenshaw, plus two today to finish at minus one. Jack Nicholas plus two today to finish at one under. Dave Barr, five over to finish even par. Dan Alderson, four over to finish even par. Steve Jones with a 66 yesterday, two over to finish at even par. Lee Trevino, four over 76 today to finish at even. Johnny Miller, who usually plays well in this tournament, three over today, a 75 to finish at one over par, 289. And again, Peter, yesterday, Norman was 10 under 62, Jones at a 66, Crenshaw, five under 67. Today, the three best rounds, two under 70, turned in by David Ogren, Clarence Rose, and Brian Clark. He has a very different day today from yesterday. Stronger winds, we had that rain delay, and, of course, final round nerves. Now, over to the MC. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the official presentation ceremony for the 1986 Canadian Open Golf Championship. First of all, it's my pleasure to introduce the president of the Royal Canadian Golf Association, Dr. Douglas Brewer. Thank you, Fred. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the Canadian Open has a new champion. And on behalf of the Royal Canadian Golf Association, I congratulate our winner with a 72-hole score of 280, eight under par, Mr. Bob Murphy. Bob, please step forward. Please step forward and receive this check for $153,000 in recognition of your victory here today. Thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, over 1,300 volunteers have worked many long hours to make this 77th Canadian Open the success that it was. I thank each and every one of them. I would also like to thank the governors of the Royal Canadian Golf Association who acted as officials for this national championship. In fact, everyone associated with Glen Abbey this week has been outstanding, making the players, our special guests, and you, the spectators, feel welcome. The director of golf, Alan Ogilvie, the head professional, Chuck Lorimer, and the entire pro shop staff. Our special thanks also to Mr. Don McFall, the course superintendent, who made this course just a super track this week. But ladies and gentlemen, none of this would have been possible without the support and the financial backing of Du Maurier. I salute them for their support and their outstanding contribution to Canadian golf. It is now my great pleasure to ask the president of Imperial Tobacco Limited, Mr. Wilmot Tennyson, to come forward and present the Du Maurier Trophy to our champion. Mr. Tennyson. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, for 16 years now, we at Imperial Tobacco and Du Maurier has had the honor of sponsoring this national championship. In the course of these events, we've had the unwavering support 
of the members of the PGA Tour, Commissioner Dean Beeman, and the Royal Canadian Golf Association. And we are grateful to all of them for their kindness and their support. This tournament is a bit of a milestone in Canadian golf history. No fewer than 32 Canadians qualified for the first two rounds, and seven of them played their way into the third and fourth round. I think it would only be fair if we thank Mr. Dick Grimm, Mr. Geordie Hilton, and Mr. Bill Paul, who has done so much to help our Canadian golfers arrive at where they were this week. We are grateful to the large number of spectators and supporters who visited us here at Glen Abbey this week, and especially to you, who braved the rainstorm to be here with us this moment. You are good friends, and we're very proud of you. I would now like to ask our 77th Canadian national champion to come forward and accept the Demoria Trophy and to meet with you from Stewart, Florida, our new champion, Mr. Bob Murphy. Thank you, especially to the Canadian Golf Association, the Morier, of course, for putting up all the cash. And thank you to you great fans. I know you had fun because I've heard you for four solid days screaming and hollering and having a big time. And we love it. The golf course was excellent. I think we were tested uh, at our best this week. We had rain, wind, everything but sleet, hail, and high water, I guess. But uh, we tried. I can't tell you how happy I am. It's been a long time, since 1975, since I won the Jackie Gleason Inverary Classic. And I'm, uh, my heart is about to jump out of my shirt here. But uh, it's fun. Golf is a great game, and I'm just happy to be part of it. Thank you again, and I'll see you next year. Congratulations again. And our live coverage of the Canadian Open will continue right after this. Bob Murphy, the 86 champion. Bob, congratulations. Just a, a great run for you. Oh, boy. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Yeah, it really has, and I'm, uh, I'm just tingly all over, I can't tell you. Uh, I feel like uh, Ray Floyd sounded at the <laughs> Open. Uh, it, it has been a long time, and uh, I really thought that today would be a day to shoot a low score, but obviously the golf course jumped up and got us all and put us back in our place. Uh, it played tough today, and, and uh, I was very lucky. I made some awfully good saving putts, and that's what keeps you going, just gets you over yeah. the hump. Yeah, you were in the bunkers a few times. You could have lost something, but you didn't. You putted very well. Uh, Peter Ellis said that your, your putting stroke was just <laughs> magnificent and always has been. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I, I abs Actually, I played the bunkers better this week than I think I ever have. I did not fail to get up and down out of a bunker all week. All right, so that, that's the difference there, isn't it? That's, when, that's the difference in a lot of shots. When yeah. you started today, though, you must have said to yourself, I haven't been in this position for a long, long time. You've obviously known how to win because you've done it before, but what were you thinking? Well, actually, I was thinking that uh, I needed to keep my wits about me. I've been working on a new little move, and if I kept thinking about that, perhaps I'd play golf and not worrying about winning. And uh, that's what I tried to do. I tried to stick to my thoughts. And uh, coming down the last hole, I finally asked, how do I stand? Because some of the boards, in fact, were out out there, and I didn't know. I didn't know when I hit my uh, layup shot. I thought I had a two-shot lead, and uh, as it turned out, I had a four-shot lead, and I figured I could... Uh, uh, you know, crawl in from there. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think when the rain delay came in? I was very worried about that because, as you know, I've had some back and neck problems yeah. this week, and, and I was very, very worried that if we were delayed an hour or two that I would be in bad shape. But uh, the good Lord was on my side today. Yeah, you played wonderful. Thank you. Great work. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Peter. Thank you, Ernie. A very happy Bob Murphy indeed. Good playing. I've enjoyed that. Did you? It was a lot of fun. A uh, little rain just to make it interesting today. A uh, 30-minute delay. You heard Murphy allude to that. And he came back and came mm. back strong. We should also credit the Canadians here. Barron Halderson finishing at even par. Murphy winning at 8-under. 
Yep, an excellent uh, championship, very well run. Everyone looked after it to the highest degree. The course in good condition. A little hiccup with the weather, but now the sun's shining down on us again, and uh, all's well with the world, at least here. Well, the year of the golden oldie continues, Peter. Uh, you were certainly at Shinnecock uh, when yeah, Ray Floyd right. performed it at, I believe, 43 years of age. The same age that Bob Murphy is, and of course, uh, your good friend uh, Jack Nicholas at the Masters. Mm. Yep. Yes, I wonder what's coming up for the rest of the year. We've got the British Open coming in a couple of weeks' time, mm -hmm. which I'm sure you'll be seeing over here in Canada, and I'm just wondering uh, which one of the oldies, or perhaps some new young name, is going to come forward and win that great championship. Well, we'll be carrying the British Open. I know you'll be on the broadcast crew. Have a safe flight home to London tonight. If you manage to get to the airport <laughs> in time as we've run long. Well, I hope so. I've enjoyed being with you all. We've enjoyed having you, Peter. For Peter Alice and Ernie Afghanis, I'm Brian Williams. Again, Bob Murphy is the 1986 Canadian Open champion. Bob finishes the 72 holes at 8-under par. Greg Norman was alone in second at 5-under. The Canadians, Barr and Halderson, were even. Good night from the Canadian Open.